How's everybody doing? Today I'll be reviewing VHS, the 2012 horror movie, which is another found footage movie, and it's actually a found footage anthology movie. I'm not sure if this is the first found footage anthology movie, but this is definitely a very unique take for the found footage uh, genre, which has been really pushed into the ground lately, so it's very cool to see something unique and fresh with this idea. If you've seen VHS, definitely let me know what you think of it, and let me know what your favorite found footage movie is. And this comes from a great group of horror-related people, including Ty West, David Bruckner, who did The Signal, and a group called, a video collective group called uh, Radio Science. Uh, I think some of them did uh, the video short uh, prank on Roommate Goes Wrong, where they have, uh, they dressed up in these alien masks and freak out the roommate, which is a hilarious short, by the way. If you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. It's probably out on YouTube somewhere. It's definitely on the internet. You can you know, Google that, uh, but very cool to see this group of, this collective together making a film like this. And I'll put a list of everybody who's involved in this in the description box below, along with the trailer. And there's basically five short stories, uh, found footage short stories, wrapped around by another uh, sixth found footage story. So there's six total found footage stories. Now, the first one you see is the wraparound story, where it's a group of young misfits uh, who were basically hired to break into a house and find this very rare VHS tape. And they'll make a lot of money doing so. And apparently there's just one old guy that lives in the house, so you know they just have to make sure that he doesn't become a problem and they just have to find this tape. And uh, basically the guy that's looking for it will pay them top dollar. And these guys are just a, a group of miscreants. Uh, they're basically, you know, damage property, go to different things, you know, throw bottles and stuff, break uh, houses up and stuff like that. And they have this like kind of a uh, kind of a sexual assault uh, caught on camera kind of thing where they'll go to a parking lot or like a mall or something like that and they'll see a couple and they'll push the guy down and lift the, uh, the girl's shirt up without her permission and show her breasts while they catch it on camera and then they basically run away you know laughing and stuff like that so sexual assault on camera as the, one of the things that they do but they're basically just a group of misfits that do all kinds of crazy things so breaking into a house and stealing a VHS tape is right up their alley so this group goes into the house and they're searching all around and right off the bat something happens I'm not gonna tell you what happens but right off the bat they, they notice something's up and from there they're kind of freaked out but they still want to find this VHS tape because they want that money so they're looking all throughout this creepy old house and you know everything's dark and they have the flashlights going and all of a sudden things start happening uh, and they basically split up which is always a bad thing to do uh, in these types of situations but you always see that that happening in horror movies so one guy's up there in the room and there's a stack of VHS and a stack of TVs and uh, he you know he decides to start watching one of the VHS tapes and that's when you know something happens and you know he sees this VHS tape and then he's like it's just a crazy VHS tape and then somebody else does the same thing it's a continuation of that where each person watches a VHS tape and on those VHS tapes are these found footage of these crazy stories so it's a really cool unique take on a fresh take on the found footage genre with this uh, found footage anthology and the first found footage tape that's watched is basically a group of friends uh, they go out to this bar and they one of the guys has these glasses on that has like a camera in it so it's kind of like a hidden camera uh, you can't tell that there's a camera in there it looks like regular glasses and he's kind of dorky and uh, his two friends are kind of like jockey kind of guys and you know they're kind of saying oh let's they pick up these girls at a bar and then we'll film it you know while they're hooking up and stuff like that so they they bring these two girls back to their hotel room and uh, basically one of the girls is something more than she seems and something crazy happens and that was actually a really awesome one that's probably my f actually you know what they're all really excellent it's kind of hard to choose a favorite if you have seen vhs let me know which one of the the found footage scenarios is your favorite definitely let me know because i'm really curious to hear that there's so many cool unique ones in this one i'm kind of leaning towards this first one because i with the the group of friends um doing kind of like the hidden camera with their glasses i kind of like that one the most but I, they're all really good now the second one was actually probably my least favorite of the bunch. It could have been really cool and creepy, but it just it seemed like it was a little too long and drawn out, especially compared to the other ones. Uh, this one's basically about a couple. Uh, they're traveling across across country and they stop at a hotel and they're checking all these different like uh, carnivals and stuff like that. And uh, on the way back to the hotel, uh, you know somebody knocks on the door and they ask if you know they can get a ride somewhere, and the guy says no, I don't want to do that. And then something creepy happens and then from there more things unravel and uh, that was actually it's, it was really unique the way that played out I liked how that happened uh, there there was a little bit of a uh, foreboding moment where you can you know kind of premonition of what you think could happen given on something some an event that occurred before that but uh, you know 
don't want to give too much away there, but I just felt like that whole sequence was a little too long and drawn out, especially compared to the rest of the found footage scenes. I definitely like the idea of it, especially the, the one part at nighttime when they're in the hotel. I thought that was really creepy. And one of the things that really worked well for this movie was the atmosphere, just the creepy vibe overall throughout all the different tapes, and especially the wraparound story. Just some creepy little things. It definitely has you, you your senses heightened. And just a very unique, fresh take on this subgenre, which I really appreciate. I'd definitely like to see this group of people work together again to see what more they can come up with. And the next story revolves a young girl who brings a group of her friends out into the woods. And unbeknownst to the rest of the group, she takes them to this place secluded in the woods where a whole bunch of murders happened a few years earlier. And she brings them there for a special reason. And this one kind of has a Predator vibe to it, which is another unique thing that we haven't seen in many horror movies, at least in, you know, since Predator, essentially. And this other one is actually really cool as well, just a very fresh uh, story. And it's basically all on like kind of like a Skype camera. So there's a guy and a girl talking together. And, you know, I guess they're, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. And they've known each other since they were kids. And they miss each other. And he's going to visit her soon. And she has all these problems. Apparently, you know, they think that she's crazy because she kind of hurts herself and she has these bruises and there's there's one part that really caught me off guard uh, I don't want to give too much away but she's kind of hurting herself and that was, was creepy and unexpected and she thinks that there's a ghost in the apartment so she wants to video chat with him when she hears noises at night and he agrees to it so you know he's watching to see if he sees anything in the background or sees anything in the, in the night in the darkness in their apartment and she's, you know, really freaked out. She doesn't want to look. She's trying to cover her eyes. And there's a really creepy twist that I definitely did not see coming. So I really appreciate that. It's very rare to see something fresh and new like this. And then the next one is about a group of friends that uh, go to a Halloween costume party. And they basically get the addresses mixed up. And they go to this house. They decide, you know, no one's answering. They'll just enter. And then as soon as they go into the house, weird things start happening. And then they find out there's an exorcism going on. And just... From there, just really creepy, and just a really another great story in this one. From creatures to supernatural slashers to exorcisms to just crazy killers, it's just all out there in this one. It all meshes together just perfectly in my opinion. Just when I was getting completely tired of the whole found footage genre, VHS comes along and brings some new breath of fresh air into it. And I can't wait to see the sequels, DVD and Blu-ray, maybe we'll see Laserdisc in there, all the different video formats. And everything is shot in the POV style, which has been popularized by the found footage genre. And it's effectively creepy all throughout the movie, and it's definitely a unique and fresh take on this genre. And the stories in here are very creative and inventive, and just, it's, the atmosphere is just awesome all throughout as well. The found footage style is such a tired and beaten to death subgenre that I've just gotten really tired of seeing it, and now VHS comes along, and it's just new and fresh and creative, and I'd love to see all these guys work together again, do some more kind of anthology-themed ideas as well. They did a great job together, and they really mesh well with all their creative ideas. And VHS comes along and shows the found footage genre that you can actually come up with something new and creative and something that hasn't been done before, and actually make it work. And to all the other filmmakers out there who have been doing these found footage style movies, you need to take note. This is how you do it. Now, my main criticism about VHS is that throughout the different scenarios, it seems like almost every one of the stories has somebody tripping and falling. I think only one of them didn't have somebody tripping and falling. And then a lot of the characters didn't react how normally people would. So that was another thing that kind of just didn't seem natural. You think that something would happen and they would just get the heck out of that situation, not stick around, not say, oh, well, whatever. But now, and there's one scene in particular when they're in the basement looking for the tapes and somebody says they see something and they're like, ah, oh well, it probably wasn't anything. No, come on now. And then the one story about the couple, uh, you know, traveling around and staying in the hotel, that one seemed a little bit longer in comparison to the rest of the stories. That one just personally was, was my least favorite of the bunch. Felt just a little too long and drawn out. And I didn't really like the ending to the wraparound story. And then also the way the last found footage tape was played, I didn't really like how that worked out. But that's just a really minor criticism. Besides that, I just really loved VHS. And if you're into found footage movies especially, highly recommend VHS. And even if you're not into found footage movies, if you're just a horror fan or an anthology fan, I think you should definitely check out VHS. Again, it breathes a whole life of fresh air into the found footage genre. And again, I want to see these guys work together because they really made something special here with VHS. And I give VHS an 8.5 out of a 10. I really enjoyed it. Definitely worth checking out. A high recommendation if you're into horror movies, anthologies, found footage style movies. It's one of the better found footage movies that I've seen in a long time. And if you've seen VHS, definitely let me know what you think of it. And let me know what your favorite found footage movie is as well. Leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. 
Take care.